Hello and welcome to this video, where we will explore the Chinese Z-15 helicopter, a medium-sized multi-purpose helicopter jointly developed by Aviation Industry Corporation of China and Airbus Helicopters. The Z-15, also known as AC-352, is the first domestically produced helicopter to meet the new airworthiness standards for transport category rotorcraft in China. It can be used for various civil and military applications, such as search and rescue, offshore oil, personnel transportation, medical evacuation, and attack missions. The Z-15 project started in 2004 as a cooperation program between Avic and Airbus helicopters, formerly known as Eurocopter. The two companies agreed to share the development costs and risks, and to produce two versions of the helicopter, one for the Chinese market and one for the international market. The Chinese version is called Z-15, while the international version is called H-175. The first prototype of the Z-15 flew in December 2016, and the first prototype of the H-175 flew in December 2014. The Z-15 received its type certificate from the Civil Aviation Administration of China, CAAC, on July 26, 2022, paving the way for the first deliveries of the type. The H-175 received its type certificate from the European Aviation Safety Agency, EASA, in January 2017, and has been delivered to several customers around the world. The Z-15 is powered by two WZ-16 engines, which are jointly developed by the state-owned Aero Engine Corporation of China and French company Safran Helicopter Engines. The WZ-16 is a turboshaft engine that produces 1, 200 kilowatts of power and is designed to operate in high altitude and hot and high conditions. The Z-15 has a maximum takeoff weight of 7.5 tons and a maximum payload of 2.4 tons. It can carry up to 16 passengers or 8 standard air cargo pallets or one stretcher and 10 medical staff. It has a maximum speed of 315 km per hour, a cruising speed of 280 km per hour, and a range of 850 km. It has a service ceiling of 6,000 meters and a hover ceiling of 2, 200 meters. The Z-15 features a full glass cockpit with a layout similar to current generation helicopters. It uses an integrated digital avionics system from GE Aviation Systems and a four-axis autopilot system from Thales. It has both conventional and fly-by-wire flight controls and a fly-by light system that uses optical fibers instead of electrical wires to transmit signals. The Z-15 is equipped with a self-protection suite, which includes a radar warning receiver, a missile approach warning system, a laser warning system, and a countermeasure dispensing system. The Z-15 also has a rear ramp that can be opened in flight for airdrop operations. It has five external hardpoints for weapons training or combat missions. The Z-15 can perform attack and anti-armor missions, as well as close air support and reconnaissance. It is part of China's efforts to develop its own indigenous helicopter industry, despite the sanctions and embargoes imposed by the international community. China claims that the Z-15 is superior to the original H-175 and can compete with other modern helicopters, such as the AW-139, the S-76, and the UH-60. However, some experts have questioned the reliability and performance of the Z-15 and have pointed out the limitations and challenges that China faces in its helicopter industry. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more interesting and informative videos. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.